Dear friends, in this video, I want to talk about how to grow and enjoy your own pineapples. Another marvelous gift from Mother Earth. It's a marvelous gift because not only it's nutritionally rich, but all parts of the pineapple can be used beneficially. Even the skin forms good compass material. The fruit itself is feast for the eyes as it sits majestically with its leafy crown. I love to grow pineapples. I love the fruit and the plant itself and its spectacular flower. Growing a pineapple is ridiculously easy as they need virtually no care whatsoever when planted properly in the right soil. So, how exactly to grow a pineapple plant? First, we need a pineapple to grow a pineapple. Store-bought pineapples will do too. Pineapples don't really have usable seeds. So, a pineapple plant starts from a pineapple itself. Pineapples reproduce by growing suckers and slips. Slips are tiny plantlets that grow at the base of the fruit or fruit stalk. Not all pineapple varieties produce slips. Slips develop at the expense of the fruit. Leaving the slips on will produce smaller fruits. Suckers or pups are little plantlets that grow from the base of the mother plant. After harvesting the fruit, the slips are easily snapped off from the plant. Each in turn, when grown, produces another fruit. Now, how to prepare slips or suckers for planting? Cut away the bottom end of the slip. First, some of the base leaves are removed from the slip. This is done so that the roots will form easily. The slip is then placed in water for the roots to develop. Another way for the pineapple to reproduce is by planting the crown. This too will grow a new pineapple plant. Remove the pineapple top by twisting it. We can easily propagate new plants from store-bought pineapples using this method. Remove some of the bottom leaves. Growing pineapples using the top is a slow way to grow pineapples. Tops take at least 24 months to flower and then it takes another 6 months for the fruit to mature. Growing pineapples using suckers or slips is much faster. Place the pineapple top in a small water container. Wait until the roots come out. About a week or two. Here is how I planted the pineapple slips and crown on a raised bed in a sunny spot in the garden. Pineapples are planted either in pots or on the ground. However, they do extremely well when planted on the ground. The soil should be high quality potting soil of any brand. It's important for the soil to have good drainage but at the same time moisture retaining. Pineapples are tropical plants and hence the crop requires a warm, humid climate with lots of sunlight. Pineapples are maintenance-free plants. Weekly watering is sufficient for plants planted on the ground. Spraying of insecticides and pesticides is also not necessary as the plants are quite sturdy. Pineapples can also be grown in pots. But somehow, pineapples grown on the ground always yield a better harvest. Growing in a smaller pot is fine for the first few months, but later repotting to a bigger pot is recommended for a better harvest. Pineapple plants in pots should be fertilized every six months. The pot size should be relatively large so as to provide enough room for the roots to grow. The best part of growing pineapples is 
Once the plants are established in some good soil, they need virtually no care whatsoever. Furthermore, no snails or slugs eat the leaves. Even squirrels do not bother the ripe fruits. Nowadays, there are many hybrid varieties of pineapples with various shapes, sizes, color of skin, flesh and also with different flavor and sweetness. In Malaysia, the popular hybrid variety is the Sarawak, Morris and Josephine. Each pineapple variety has slightly different flavor and aroma. The sweetness of the fruit varies depending on the fruit varieties. My favorite pick is the Sarawak pineapple, as they are very, very sweet and juicy. Moreover, the eyes are broad and flat, so there is less fruit wastage after cutting out the eyes. For Sarawak, the fruit is cylindrical with a large crown. The fruits are huge and heavy, weighing over 2.5 kg. Josephine is smaller with a reddish skin. For Morris, the skin is yellowish green. The Josa pineapple has a strong sweet flavor, whereas the Morris is very much milder in flavor and more acidic. The eyes of the pineapple below the skin is very coarse and sharp and not easy to swallow. In some varieties of pineapple, the eyes are narrow and deep, whereas in others they are broad and shallow. It's always advantageous to cut the pineapple according to the eyes with least wastage of fruit mass. In an earlier video, I had shown how to cut the pineapple variety with narrow, deep eyes. In this video, I will be showing how to cut the pineapple variety that has broad and shallow eyes. First, cut away the two fruit ends. It's possible to remove skin, eyes and fruit stem by following these few simple steps. Next, cut the fruit into wedges. Remove fruit stem. Carve fruit away from skin and eyes. Slice fruit into bite-sized pieces. Pineapples are high in vitamins, antioxidants and bioactive compounds that promote overall health. Pineapples are the only dietary source of bromelain an enzyme that supports protein digestion, fights inflammation, and protects against cancer. Another way to enjoy pineapples is juicing them. Pineapple juice is high in vitamin C and other beneficial nutrients. Being aware of pineapple juice benefits, I tried making pineapple juice using the Omega juicer. However, the juicing process was very slow and tedious. Unlike other fruits, pineapples when juiced or blended form a lot of thick white foam, making juice extraction difficult. While juicing the pineapple wedges using the Omega juicer, a lot of foam collected inside the juicing cylinder. Foam rather than juice collected inside the juice container too. This caused the juicing process to be slow and difficult. This is the reason why pineapples are not easily juiced using the normal juicer. The juicer gets clogged up with the foam causing the juicing process to slow down tremendously. While juicing the pineapples, I realized one fundamental aspect of this Omega juicer. When I used only the fruit stems and discarded eyes of the pineapple, I had no problem juicing. The juicing was much faster and there was no backlog and no excessive foaming. 
So, my conclusion would be, when making pineapple juice, use only the fruit stems and discarded eyes of the pineapple. Enjoy the rest of the fruit fresh with a sprinkling of salt. That's all my friends. Thanks for watching, sharing and subscribing to my channel. And most of all, liking it.